Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's hack episode is all about foundations. Do you find it a little bit difficult to find the right foundation color? Well, this next hack for you is going to be really good. All you do is pick up three shades that you think will match your skin the best. You do this by just looking at the color of the bottle. Then with each foundation, draw a line from the bottom of your cheek downwards to your drawer. Now by testing the foundation on the side of your face, you'll be able to see if it blends nicely with your neck. I like to use my fingers to blend the foundation out and see which one matches my skin best. The one that disappears and blends off into your skin nicely should be the shade you're after. Now what if you already bought the wrong foundation colour? If the foundation colour you bought is too pink for your skin tone, don't worry, you can actually use it to cover dark circles or any areas that have pigmentation. Now if you bought something too yellow for your skin tone, you can use that colour to cover up any pimples or redness on your face. So what if you bought the right tone of foundation, for example a warm undertone or a pink undertone, but it's still too light or dark for your skin tone? If it's too light, simply add a bit of a darker foundation. And if it's too dark, simply add a bit of a lighter foundation and mix it together. I find it really handy to have a light and a dark foundation colour in my makeup bag. That's because sometimes in the winter I'm usually lighter and in the summertime I'm usually darker. So it's always good to customise your colours and mix the two together. This next hack is really good for those of you who have a fuller coverage foundation but you want to wear it every day and make it look more natural. You can thin out the consistency by adding a bit of moisturiser to your foundation. This sort of makes it into a tinted moisturiser and also thins out the coverage, giving you a more natural daytime look. What if your foundation isn't enough coverage for your skin? This next hack is great for that. Let me introduce you to the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. These babies are pure pigment drops, so you can actually mix it with any of your foundations, moisturizer, any skincare to add a bit more coverage. Simply add one to four drops of this pigment into your foundation and it's going to build up the coverage big time. Four drops of this will give you a very, very full coverage, so a little goes a long way with this. When applying foundation, make sure you work from the center of your face outwards. You want to concentrate the foundation in the center of your face because usually that's the most problematic areas that you want to cover up. By applying your foundation this way, it will help give you the correct coverage but also make your makeup less cakey. Hands up if you guys get oily throughout the day, because I do. And because of that, I always carry around some blotting paper with me. This is great to help absorb any of the oil seeping through your makeup on your skin. But if you don't have any blotting paper, don't worry, you can also use a tissue to blot. I like to take the two layers apart and just use one to blot back any of the shine or excess oil on my skin. This last hack I have is great for those of you who love the dewy skin, but get a bit oily throughout the day. You don't want to look all oily and like a grease ball. So the trick for that is to apply powder only to the areas you get oily and that's usually on the T-zone. By not setting the other areas of your face, you'll still keep that nice dewy texture on your skin and it will give you that nice natural glow. That's it to this hack episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please leave any comments and suggestions for future videos below. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay updated with future videos. And I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.